League stages of the Party Poker Premier League Mixed Game Championship conclude tonight as our Group B players battle it out to secure a final table seat. Let's see what happened last time out. Last time out, Ben Carpenter ended his Premier League. I'll just spite bust you if you start bullying me. I don't really care about going through. All in. Can I just hit one thing instead of just running bad every time I get my money in? Yeah, of course. Can't be bothered to shake everyone's hand, but good luck. Mike Sexton made a momentous fold. When you pass the move on with without flush here. No way you think I can fold this. I made a straight on the turn. Wow. wow. What a fold. Go what on, Mike fold. Sexton. Go on, Mike Sexton. And Sorrell and Yevgeny pulled away from the rest of the table. Never end, brother. I get owned by Timoshenko again. They just keep trying to rob you. Did you see my cards? No. Because like, you've been you've been spot on every single time. I wish I could see the gears moving inside of Yevgeny's head. I, I'm impressed, man. Coming up, who will crack as the pressure mounts to reach the final table? In my opinion, if he shows you two aces, you have to call. I would never tell someone they made a bad play. I would never do that. When someone just loses a big hand, I would never sit there and tell someone they made a bad play. That's not my personality. Do you acknowledge that it was a bad play, or are you saying that... I'm um, not going to talk about it. Anymore. Okay, okay. When we're playing Premier League poker, you don't really expect to see plays like that. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry that it affected you guys, but I am playing for myself. The only reason is you would rather have Yevgeny on the final than you. I'll tell you right now, that's not the reason, okay? Tensions are high. Have a look at the Group B standings right now. Feldman with 18 points, Frankenberger with 14. They're basically at the final table, guaranteed. Mike Sexton on nine, Sorrell Mizzy on eight. Carpenter's out and finished on four, while Timoshenko has one. Timoshenko, though, playing his double up card along with Andy Frankenberger, so he can still get to the final with a first or second place finish. But those three all have to outlast each other. That's what Mike Sexton and Sorrell Mizzy are thinking right now. And look now at the chip counts. Sorrell Mizzy pole position with 694K. Timoshenko, though, close behind on 467. And Sexton's already jumped out this plane. He ain't wearing a parachute. It's been a good heat so far for Sorrell Mizzy. Uh, talk to us about your progress. Well, um, I, uh, I believe I'm chip leader right now. Me and Yevgeny are pretty close. Um, which kind of creates an interesting dynamic since if he comes in first and I come in second, I can't win. Um, but if I win and he comes in second, then I, I will advance. Uh, so it's kind of um, a, big, a, a big difference, obviously. And there's a few situations where if he busts earlier um, and if I come second, then I will win. But it's like... Right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen because he has so many chips. Well, good luck out there. Thank, Thank you. you. And you do have big chips. Too risky. This is uh, this is <laughs> so <laughs> going to come down to Timoshenko and Sorrell Mizzy, right? Read. I mean, yeah, these somebody, are the. I'm not. Yeah. No disrespect to Mike. Obviously, he doesn't have any chips. Good, but like everybody seven. else, just seems a little bit out to lunch. And between Sorrell and Timoshenko, they're like. Well, I'm in all honesty. Um, when I when I saw the original groupings, these these are the two guys in this group. That I expected we we're going to get through. Um, it was surprising to me that they they both happened to scrap it out to even get to the final. Let alone they're both not going to be there. Um, so yeah, I think I think we're going to get a treat. I think we're going to get a battle between these two. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Wow. Made the straight on the turn. Now. Well, Miz is going to get let off the hook. That's what we do know. Um, for, for Timoshenko, okay, Frankenberger's re-raise. So. Uh, is there any reason for Timoshenko to think about not getting it all in? There's not really, is there? Well, I mean, he I mean, kind of has to get it in him, but this is, the, this is the point. He's worried what happens if he ends up dragging Sorrell into heads up, and then he finds himself in a position where Sorrell then gets enough points. He's, it, it, at some point, he, you know, he needs to make chips himself, but he's seen Frank situations Frank. where he's taking the chips off Feldman and Frankenberger, and he really needs to start. He wants to take one of them through with him. Yeah, he kind of can't let Sorrell bully either of those two. I bet the pot. 211. Right, here we go. I repot. All in. I think that's pretty much oh, it. My bet here. 211. That's pretty. He's, he's that's asking how much it is, but he's, he can't fold here. He's he's putting 200. He's, got, he's only got 90 back. 211 of, including the 30. Yeah. <coughs> that's the thing. He's, he's, he's he's confused here. He, he's not liking this, but I think he hasn't realised how, how how many chips he already oh, put in. I, I, I believe it. So that's uh. 
not sure he didn't get enough to raise the pot. So 111 more. Well, he calls 66, and then he raises whatever is in here. So. I had a similar spot in, uh, in my last one eight, one eight. heat. Yeah, and you didn't think um, too long about it. No, I but mean, it's are you such more a, of a gambler? Well, it's such a, it's still such a big long shot that thing comes in, and you, you want to kind of assure yourself. Um, my, my, my place, my 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 uh, spot was, you know, way more of a fault than this was. So, um, you know, I, I went with that. Um, right. I mean, if Frankenberger, obviously, he probably should have thought a little more because he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have repotted with the queens. Yeah, I mean, there would have been more of an yeah. argument you for could him just to fold. flat. You know, he could just fold if he doesn't want to play the hand. I mean, right. you have to rule out Yevgeny of being in, being involved in this. And the guy's perfect. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a guy to he's got a guy to put in over two hundred thousand. He might fold for ninety more when he's got the best hand before the flop. Wow! Oh, I thought he's reaching. Amazing. No. Oh my lord! Wow. How? 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 <laughs> wow. And listen to Mike, it's impossible. Wow. So what are you doing? I got a show. It's impossible to throw it away. If you get two aces, it's it. impossible to throw it away. You can't throw away a deuce three. I just did it. I saw it. There's other things at, at stake here. <clears throat> Chipping up the final table. It's impossible. We all have our interests, right? Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, in my opinion, if he showed you two aces, you have to call. Yeah. Yeah, but I would never tell someone they made a bad play. I would never do that. When someone just loses a big hand, I would never sit there and tell someone they made a bad play. That's not my personality. Okay. Oh, wait. You're right. You're right. I apologize. Do you acknowledge that it was a bad play, or are you saying that... Uh, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Okay. And let's be very clear about one thing. That despite what people might be saying, on Frankenberger paid $25,000 of his own money. Okay. He's, he's, got, he's got the second he's and the first so far. He had his double-up card. He can do whatever the heck he wants. I'm still in this tournament, and I'm pretty comfortable with my position, so I think I made a fine decision. I'm sorry that it affected you guys, but I am playing for myself. That's, that's fine. You do, you, do what, you do whatever you want, but I just feel for the, those two guys. That's all. I think, that, do you really feel for When's no, the last time at a poker table about, that you felt my, for someone opinion, else? It's irrelevant about us. Yeah, no, when's the last time? Honestly. honestly. I just, you felt you made like, the best I felt, play, then that's, that's fine. You felt for them. What I, I agree. Mean? I think it's irrelevant about no, if you, us. If you, don't feel sorry for us. That I totally agree with. Well, when we're playing a Premier League poker, you don't really expect to see plays like that. That's all I'm saying. That's no, you why. shouldn't say that. Though. That's no. bad. Like, yeah. I mean, if you, there might be a really good reason. That's, but that's, he did but, what he did. in my eyes, the only reason is he, put, he would rather have Yevgeny on the final than you. That's how <laughs> I'll I. I'll tell do. you right now, that's not the reason. Okay. <laughs> Nothing against either of them. I was not thinking no, about not Yevgeny against... versus Sorel, okay? I don't think either of them buy that logic. I think it would be, like, good for TV if okay. you, like, explained your thought process. Yeah. Well, you I'm know sure, what? If he doesn't want to, then... I'm sure he'll be out. You know, I've nope. never really Just seen Sorel like get sort of tilted or hot under <laughs> yeah. the collar at the table. I mean, he's a pretty he, cool character. Man. That's about... The, oh, wow. That's about the most I've ever seen him go after wow. someone. Well, the funny thing is, you've seen this hand go off between wow. Anya Frankenberger wow. and Yevgeny Timoshenko, and the two people who got the most to say about it look most upset about it. Yeah. That's Sorel Mizzy and Mike Sexton. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even in the hand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and but they were they were the biggest losers in the hand. If I won right. yesterday, then I would. How many points are you on? If I won yesterday, then. If I got second, and he's, he's, yeah. he's raised the pot with Ace King. I think it would. Wow. Guess, you know, I mean, yeah, he kind of has to take. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, what is what is Yevgeny supposed to think? This, this is the guy. Yeah. This is the guy. Yeah. This. I mean, the thing is, if Yevgeny knows, he'll probably fold. But he, but he has to raise, kind of thing. It's it's you know. Yevgeny has to re-raise here. Yep, Knowing what he I don't knows, know. well, he just has to rip I mean, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, he's got an ace. I don't, it doesn't even matter what Yevgeny has. He can't respect himself in the morning no, after he what he's been what he's been shown if he doesn't repot this. I bet pot. Oh yeah, I call. I mean, this is the mistake. If he's folding the queen, wow, he can't a, be putting it in here. It's a, it's a definitely. I mean, this is this is the, this is just basically an admission that he knows he made a mistake before. <clears throat> it, that that's all the only way to see it. Yeah, I mean, I why like. would you fold the queens for? I don't understand. Why would you fold the queens with 700,000 in the middle, yeah. then put ace king when there's 100,000 in the middle? And, and that's no, what Sorrell's saying. That maybe I shouldn't call. Oh. But I also didn't want to make it seem like we're colluding, because I usually don't fold in these spots. I mean, I think everyone knows you're not. So. I'm actually gobsmacked. Yeah, I, I, I actually was now that, I'm now I'm really confused. Know, he made not, if he thought he was right before, yeah, then he's wrong now, and if he thought he was right. wrong before, then he's right now. But he's admitting one of them is wrong. 
Now I'm conf Yeah. Well, as it happens, he's going to double up, so. Thank you. <laughs> He's really not kidding. This is the funny thing, Sorrel really isn't kidding there. I think Andy knows that. He doesn't look happy. He, you know, he's sort of go away, Sorrel. This has been an emotional... Uh, Things are heating up. Yeah, and, and we still have the final table to go, and, this is and, and, and all the personalities are going to come back. But uh, I'm so confused. And and I think everyone is too, because, because you know, Frankenberger, obviously, that really well, did nothing for him. That that's almost up. like an insult to, to Sorrel and, and Mike, that is. You know, when, he does, when they... When that happens, they're like, well, why didn't you just get it in before? You know, let, like, what, let's, you... let's be clear, Sexton is now too angry to even speak. <laughs> he can't even Sexton, think of anything to say. I think there's a chance he's <laughs> just going to get up and walk away from the table. Over to Kara Scott now. Who's catching up with Andy yeah, Frankenberger? Andy, you came in uh, as one of the big leaders here. So let's talk about how this heat's going for you so far. Yeah, I made a uh, obviously a big lay down that a lot of people think was crazy, but everyone's got their best interest in mind. And if you look back at who's criticizing the play the most, it's the people who want to make the call the most. So that's part of this game. Um, I accept it. Um, so the Queen's lay down, was that a points driven decision? It was uh, based on my desire to win this entire tournament, <laughs> not my desire to win anything other than this entire tournament. Welcome back from the Playboy Club London for the last league match for Group B, the Pot Limit Hold'em. There's just one seat open for the final table. Will it be Mike Sexton, Yevgeny Tymoshenko, or Sorel Mitzi who takes it? Let's get back to the felt. You know, as great as a table full of banter is, um, a silent table, when it's silenced through tension, is even better. If Sexton does wait a little bit before getting his chips in. Um, it's it's going to really cramp everyone else's style. I don't think it'd be long till he, uh, you know, any kind of hand, he's going to want to, you know, going to want to get it in over the top of someone. And it's it's fairly counterintuitive because, from Yevgeny and and Sorel's point of view, whether or not Sexton gets his money, it shouldn't matter. Then they ha they have to just kind of keep on we go. going. Feldman, going. Feldman just sort of going at it again. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he hasn't. He, he's just he, he's the guy who just keeps banging his head against the wall. He hasn't figured out it hurts yet. You know, he stops for a few minutes and tries again. Maybe it'll work. I mean, I guess. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> I think Mike has to go with this. Yep. You know, I'll know tell you what. This. Mike's Mike's got like seven thousand chips more than Feldman. Feldman could probably find a fold here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Feldman would think, well, he's definitely got a. Bit. Come on. Here we go. Go on, Mike. Here we go, Mike. I think Timoshenko's got a fairly easy pass. Yeah, Timoshenko will, will um, I'm pretty certain, fold here. And, and Feldman, um, Feldman has to sort of embarrassingly yeah, turn over his six eye. I consider throwing his hand away against you. And I should have probably thrown it away. No, Mike, you shouldn't. He's going to gamble. I'm hoping that's what he's got. I've got aces. Nines or tens. You got aces? Feldman's telling me he's got aces. <laughs> the reverse slow roll. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And Mike's thinking, he, you know, I nearly folded this hand. That's what he's thinking. I nearly folded this hand. Oh, please don't do it! Don't, 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 don't do it! It's not gonna happen. Come on, Mike! It's, come on, Mike. Yeah, it's not gonna on, happen, is it? Oh wow! Action! That's fair. Action! It's fair. I'll take that flop. I'm I don't think it. it's fair at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's got. He's still the favourite, but <laughs> he's definitely lost a fair bit of his edge. Or nine. Or nine. Or queen. Or jack. Oh, boy. Jack I, 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 I'm, I'm scared. I feel bad. Oh, oh God. So we want to see. Oh. Well, well he, he tried uh, really hard after the uh, after his straight. He, he, he really well. did. He really right, did. Like and he's a, he's such a classy guy, Mike like Sexton. He's going to shake right. everyone's hand. There's no hard feelings. It's a poker table. It's a poker game. Wow. And Sexton has uh, he's been involved in some amazing hands this mixed game championship. Yeah, I mean, three huge river decisions. Uh, that and 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 this one in this heat, he got it. He got it stone right. The first time I make a move. First time. And we've lost Mike from this heat, and unfortunately that means you don't go through to the final table. Explain to us how the league standings and the point system has really changed the way people are playing against each other at the table. Well, it does, depending on who you have to finish higher than to get more points than them to advance to the final. Sometimes you would play a pot against a guy 
a hand you might not ever play because he's the guy you have to eliminate for you to advance. So there is some strategy and tactics that go along with it, you know, other than just playing poker. In fact, it's just as important or more so than playing poker itself is understanding what you need to do to get there. The history of the Premier League is littered with tension-filled times like this. One guy goes forward, the other goes home. The others are spoilers. It's all set for business. And what a match we've got right now between Mizzy and Timoshenko, certainly two of the best in their field. You haven't had dinner yet. Or 11.30, yeah, I haven't eaten. I, I figured out, James, all the possible permutations, and it's very simply that Sorrell just has to beat Timoshenko. The only wrinkle to that is that if Sorrell gets knocked out in fourth, he can still go through if Timoshenko gets knocked out immediately after. Well, here we go. I think this is the spot where we're going to see a pot. And because Feldman just three bet him and showed the five six, that makes you want a three bet here, right? Yeah, and everything else that's been going on. And he's just not going to fold this one. They're going to get it in. And if Timoshenko holds up, he's going to get a real stranglehold in his place in the final. Oh boy. Huh. Wow. And this is a real tough spot for Sorrell. Just, just, just talk me through Sorrell's thought process here. What's the most important consideration? So Rose, so Rose at this point, well, I mean, everything is a consideration. He's thinking, you know, Timoshenko's opening raise is nice and, range is nice and wide. Feldman's three betting, but w I mean, he's thinking he's definitely capable of three betting light. Would he do it after all the stuff that's just gone on? And the answer is he probably would because he's been playing quite crazy, you know, all, all the way through the, uh, the Premier League. Okay, so nines is definitely ahead of both their ranges. That's, that's what he's thinking at this point, but he has to risk a lot to do it, and he's going to do this. And, and now he's going to absolutely cringe when Timoshenko doesn't instantly fold his hand. Right, and, and just the, the other thing right now is that Sorrell, these guys are both playing deep enough that Sorrell has done this, re, this uh, four bet has n in no way committed him. No, I mean, and he, uh, that's why he did it quite quickly. And well, it's one of those things he, he's, he's done it. He's not really considered Timoshenko in this part. You know, he's thinking when I cold four bet here, Timoshenko is never really coming into it. He's not even thinking about right. Timoshenko. Oh, so point. he is committing himself against Feldman's chips all the he time. He is committing himself against Feldman all the time. But what's going to happen here is he's going to get a horrible surprise. I mean, he is hating at the moment when when uh, Timoshenko's tanking. They oh know what God. each other cable. Look at that look. <laughs> They know, Sorrell just wants the, the whole world to gobble him up right now. He hates this. Here we go. He's sort of made it about 200,000. Which means it kind of looks like he might... He might have a way out this part, yeah. <laughs> He's made it like he might just fold. There's room. <laughs> There he's is made, room. He's made a minimum plus 5,000. Feldman's thinking, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what what level of decision is this for Sorrell? I mean, it, I, I, I know that Timoshenko could be at it, but I, I mean, mean, you say when Sorrell puts him in, he's got it. How got it is nines right now? Yeah, I mean, I don't think Sorrell's going to put this in. He can't really expect Timoshenko to fold. But, you know, these, these two guys have a lot of history. They've definitely played in number of tournaments all over the world. They've got in very awkward situations before. So and there it's is, hard to know exactly what level they're both thinking Because there is this weird aspect where it's like, it's like it would have been a good spot for Sorrell to make this. That's the thing. It looks like a spot where Sorrell might have been light in the first place. So if he was going to pull off some radical bluff, then this would be the spot he'd do it in. How do you get a hand in this, in this spot? That's like the question. I mean, I know you have a hand. You have to have a hand. I mean, you're such a nit in this, these spots. <laughs> <laughs> the needle. Throws, in the, throws in a little insult. The yeah. needle. Wow. Show, show. Come on. Show. 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 Zero shot. Show is zero shot. Okay, just show one card. Zero shot. <laughs> zero shot. You know, <laughs> show, you show, show, show. show. <laughs> Feldman's really like, bashed up. I mean, that. if this was if this was a boxing match, they would have stopped <laughs> it by now. Poor <laughs> Feldman. <laughs>
<laughs> they played, uh, and, T and Tim Oshenko takes the lead. But I think it's fair to say that they've played 74 hands, and that's the 75th time that Felton has said, show, show, show. Yes. You're 100% sure of like one hand. This is one of those group therapy sessions. And, <laughs> yeah, but you can <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's, they're all feeling yeah. pain. Yeah. Apart from Yevgeny, he's the one dealing the pain. I do. Every one of these situations is, is created by Mr. Timoshenko. Well, Feldman's raised this up from the button, and Sorrell's decided to flat it. It's odd right now for both Sorrell and Yevgeny, of course, when they're playing pots with the others. Because for Mizzy, Feldman's kind of, it's more like a tool, really, than an enemy. Use him wisely. And oh, that's a great flop for Sorrel. There's, you know, the number of hands that beat him are minuscule. The ace king, the aces, that's pretty much it. See, five bet, 24, so he can call and he can raise. As the gears turn. And I guess this is more like a, a pot control sort of line. Last thing Mizzy wants to do is play a big pot in his mind against Feldman. There's only the big downside of losing to him. Check. I think he thinks Andrew is rather useful Check. on the left of Timoshenko. Ooh. Mizzy doesn't like that card, and he's right not to. The, the, the betting's been a bit strange, but uh, one thing's for sure, this is going to really hurt, you know, Mizzy as far as the yeah the race. It's Yevgeny, will be Yev Yevgeny will be cheering this one on. Couldn't have asked for a worse card. You're not wrong. It was a, a queen would have been worse, but... He, he's he's really good in his own way, Sorrells. He does not like to waste a chip. I mean, nice. this is a guy who... <laughs> you can just imagine how many tournaments he's kept himself in where everyone else would have gone bust. So what'd you have? What'd you have, Andy? What'd you have? What'd you have? I had ace jack. Ace jack? It must be a little bit tough. Uh, I mean, I guess it is because, you know, there is an argument that, like, obviously this is a long, long, uh, long heat, and uh, there is a final that's going to be played at some point that these guys would want to be fresh for it. You know, that they could just kind of gamble it up. Um, the twenty thousand or thirty thousand extra chips they're going to get is is worth something, but um, like, you know, Frankenberger is starting to look like this is taking a bit out of them. Wow. Oh, well, here we go. Yeah, oh, they've suddenly got all the chips in there. Right, Frankenberg is all in. <laughs> this is going to be such an interesting dynamic. Good luck. Thanks. Do you mean it? No. No, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> is it genuine? Put a nine up there. Punish him for wishing him good luck. <laughs> Put the nine of diamonds out not there. Not being sincere. Put the nine of diamonds. I believe it's in his hand. but Yeah, to wrong. avoid the bar. <laughs> It's got to be a nine. Yeah, the three out. Or the nine of clubs. Oh, close. And that's it. Out in fourth, Andy Frankenberger. Should be interesting. But he will be at the final table. And not only that, we know how many chips he's going to have, the double points. He's going to get four points uh, for going out in fourth. Add that to his 14. He'll have 18. He's going to be in there. And uh, he's coming to get you. The two players I rated the best. You said Yevgeny was the best. So. Frankenberger, uh, you know what an amazing presence he has. Uh, all eyes are going to be on him in the final, but we've we've still got plenty to play for here, James. Yeah, this is this is absolutely fantastic. It is effectively Timoshenko versus Mizzy heads up with Feldman in there to ask him some questions now and again. I mean, he doesn't make any difference to them in who goes through. 
but he can make it. He he can be the spanner in the works. You know, he can be in there messing it up. Andy Frankenberger is definitely through to the final. Although you have busted out of this heat, talk to us about how it went for you today. Never feels good to bust. Um, again, I think I'll be okay with it in a couple hours when I look back and say I made the final table, which is what I came here to do. Um, but it never feels good to bust. Welcome back. We're still trying to decide that last final table spot. Will it be Sorel Mitzi or Yevgeny Timoshenko? Let's go back to the table and find out. The biggest difference right now as far as Frankenberger leaving is how many pots these guys are going to be playing together. Um, they've only played a couple. In fact, let's, let's, you know, we can run through them and see that they've generally stayed out of each other's way, which is, is rare for two people who have to gun for each other. <laughs> Bowman just. Can you put it in the box? He just wants to go to bed, I think. Oh. I mean, why is he calling with 10 I mean, well, I mean, I mean, you're up against Soro Mizzy. Right. You're out of position. So, I mean, at least have a hand when you up against 10 sixes. He's going to get him in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Wow. What a flop as well. Check. I mean, Sorrell must. <coughs> I mean, this is this is. It's essentially a flip, but but Sorrell's hand is is much more worthy of putting a lot of money in. Yeah, I mean, he's got an overcard, a gut shot, and a flush draw. I mean, he's loving this hand. And it doesn't get much better when you raise with queen eight and you've got this. And Feldman, you know, he's at the best he can ever hope for. Really, he's hit top pair. He, and, he, and Feldman has to call. There is nothing you can do but call right now, right? Oh. Sure enough, he, he, know, he knows this as well. He has to call here. And this is the best he can hope for, and all he's got is a cooling hand. You know, this is he should have folded before the flop, really. Right. Check. So the best he can hope for now is that Mizzy knuckles it on the turn, and then he can try and sort of. This is the, you're, you're managing your cheap Get the showdown. showdown. Yeah, but I think Sorrell, Sorrell's not the kind of player who's gonna check back here. He's a very aggressive player. There we go. You just decide that it's unlikely he can call a barrel, barrel, barrel. Yeah, I mean, Feldman's got the best hand he's ever done up here with, with a 10. Uh, and even then, look, Feldman doesn't like this spot. Because if he calls here, what's he going to do on the river? You know, the river can come all num number of cards as well. I mean, this is the problem. You're calling with 10-6. You flop the best you can really hope for. And you're not folding the best hand. If you're going to play 10-6, you know, you're going to have to grab on tight when you flop top there and just keep calling. And uh, that has brought Sorel basically level with Yevgeny. There is very, very little in it. This is going to be a fight for the ages, and this is what this is what this tournament deserves. Hmm? Yeah, this is this is fantastic. Yeah. I want to know what you had that hand. <laughs> Felvin wants to know what he had that hand. There's a surprise. Would you say you? you no, I, I mean, you want to know? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> well. The great thing for Andrew, Andrew Feldman is definitely going to want to uh, review. He's going to want to see what everybody had every hand. <laughs> yeah. He is a hard worker. I mean, you have to say that about him. And Mizzy. Mizzy finding a pair in the small blind. Yeah. Oh, boy. Now, these oh, wow. guys are both. Wow, these guys are both like 40 big blinds deep. Oh, well. Wow. Thankfully for Yevgeny. 50 he decided big just to deep. cool. I mean,. Uh, there are some arguments for raising there to let the other guy bluff, and then you can shovel in. Um, you know, free betting to five bet, as they call it. You know, giving the guy room to put a full bet in. Wow. wow. Amazing. <laughs> That's an amazing, amazing what, flop. What chance do you think we're going to see a seven? <laughs> well, to be honest, a seven might just end this thing, huh? Could well be. Now, what, what excuses does Yevgeny have for trying to get money in now or not get money in now? I mean, he's obviously got showdown value. You know, he's, he's got a pair. He's got a draw. He doesn't. I mean, we know for sure he's not folding. Uh, I personally think he's going to call. He's going to take one off, uh, I would expect. Take one off and see what happens on the turn. Yeah, I mean, you've and got a pair, you've got a draw. And... Uh, both these players are hoping it's a seven. And he's counting out a raise. Wow. Uh, what? Wow. 
I mean, I mean, I wonder, is a raise so strong that Mizzy should be a little worried about eights? Uh, n I don't think so. I mean, there's enough hands. I mean, not one, not one, to one, pass, two, but is is Mizzy excited to start like shoveling the rest of his stack in with eights? I don't think so. Not in a single raise part. He can never be that happy about having eights in this board. But I mean, he's beating a lot of hands, like you yep. know, the pair and straight hands. I mean, Yevgeny's now put 100k in. Yeah. It I mean, looks. This pot's getting big. Right. I mean, it's. And you've got one pay. You can never be that excited. And right? isn't it really funny because Yevgeny is kind of saying, I've either got a lot more than threes or a lot less than threes. But threes that's is kind of. Thing, of... But that's the kind of thing. It doesn't look like he's got threes. That's the one <laughs> thing you're kind of thinking that he probably doesn't have. There is a pot. Three on the seven, six. It's 376. Wow. Wow. Sorrell's gone pot. I mean, that's a great, that's a great, is it a great it. read or is it? Plus. Wow. I mean, wow. That was a great play by Sorrell, wasn't Fantastic it? Fantastic play. I mean, it took a lot of courage, right? Yeah. A lot I mean, of guts. But this is it. He, he put his tournament, he put his tournament he on the was, line Yeah, there. he was willing to, to go with the pair and the draw. I mean, it, lo it looks like it's easy. Oh, you got no pair and a draw, but it, it didn't seem. He could have been against two pair. He could have not going to be up. He's, yeah, he's, he's not bluffing there when he raises Yevgeny. He's not. He's not just got, you know, king queen of clubs. You know, a lot of time he's had a hand there. You knew it was going to come down to the wire, and for Sorel Mizzy, just close out Timoshenko, go to the final table. Yevgeny's thinking the same thing though, and for Feldman, his story is how much trouble can he cause? Players have taken a short break yeah. and just picking up the game where they so left off. The and oh, okay. How, how do you see that the breaks affect, affected their mental game at all, James? If at all. Yeah, I don't think it makes too much difference. Um, obviously, Sorrell was on a nice little run um, before the break. But um, you ever kind of put a stop to that anyway, so. Can't remember actually. Small blind, big blind. Yeah, Sorrell's going to take one off here for sure. Let's see if Feldman can flop a hand now. That might be a nice start for him. Yeah, Sorrell's, uh, Sorrell's lead over Yevgeny is wow. Wow. suspiciously extending. I mean, this, could, this, this is everything to be a big pot. That's I mean, There's no way Feldman's ever folding this hand. And Sorrell could feasibly raise this flop. And if if Sorrell's raising here, he's raising to get to get it in. Yeah, for sure. I mean, because his hand is so good. I mean, he's been playing with Feldman uh, all the way through the championship, so he he knows how likely he is to you know be barring off in these spots. But Sorrell himself would definitely be barring a jack or a queen if he was in that spot, and that was the turn card. So that's what he's thinking right now. Well, he's counting out a raise, and I feel like Feldman ha has to go with it. I mean, yeah, he, he, he can't call. He only has 300 back. He just has to shove and, and think that Sorrell can actually fold sometimes. He's going to shove here and Sorrell's going to call and, and they're off to the races. Any other play would be just... Morning. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. He's gonna, and, and Feldman and Sorrell's is... Sorrell's uh, going to pretty quickly, I think. Um, how much is it? He's going to ask for a count. It's yeah, he's just making sure. I mean, uh, he's going to try and get a little read. But. But his hand is so good. You know, there's plenty of there's plenty of worse hands that Andrew will be shoving, but it's pretty much drawing dead to Sorrell. If he's got a nine, he's shoving. Sorrell's got the second best nine, so. Right. He's just going to think it through, and he's going to call. But again, this is this is something Yevgeny is loving. Yevgeny, Yevgeny is the only person in the spot who's loving life at the moment. You know, Andrew's in there with a draw. Sorrell's right, got the top pair. Right, even without seeing him, Feldman, uh, Yevgeny knows that Feldman has not done this with zero equity. Yeah, well, 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 <laughs> but as soon as Sorrell doesn't snap him off and turn over a full house, right, yeah. <laughs> Yevgeny, Yevgeny's, Yevgeny's loving life. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go, so Yevgeny's cheering in a club here. I'll tell you that. He's... <laughs> Um, obviously, the over cards as well. It, yeah, it looks I mean, like a flip. I, I, I thought Ace. I thought the Ace Ten suited was actually a slight favorite. Is it because of the King of Clubs? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. the King oh, of Clubs is obviously right. one of one of the outs he needs. And Sorok can end the hand with a nine. Or... There's the Ace. Wow. That's wow. bad for Mizzy. Now, wow. He, he actually, he's drawn to a nine now. The King's yeah. no good. That's really a bad card, obviously for Sorok. A really bad card. And there we go. Nice. In, I mean, un, unusually, the a, a club was a was a better card for Sorrell than a than an ace, but um, that's really just semantics. Um, 
Or maybe it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, again, it would keep the, the threes, threes, threes of the night. Yeah, just um, bizarre. But uh, I think Sorrell's unlucky there. You know, he, he set up. He set up a situation where Andrew's going to jam with a lot of worse hands, and he just happened to find the one that was, you know, in, in good shape. Who will take the last final table seat, Sorrell Mitzi or Yevgeny Timoshenko? Find out after the break. We were talking so at the break, like James. Uh, you know, who's the favorite between Mizzy and Yevgeny? We thought it was pretty even. Do you situationally feel like Yevgeny's got a, got an edge now? For sure. The way the way Andrew's playing is playing into the hands of Yevgeny and out of the hands of Sorrell. Yevgeny de definitely has the edge here, not because of how he's playing, but because of how Andrew's playing. And really bizarre dynamic. Uh, just to remind you, it is it is a straight. This is a straight last longer race between. Uh, Yevgeny and Sorrell. Uh, obviously, there's wow. still chips to be determined uh, at the final table, but much, much more important is which one of Sorrell and Yevgeny are going to the final table. It's whoever lasts the longest in this uh, three-handed. Yeah, they'd both be quite happy if they were told Andrew wins his heat and they come second. That's what they look at now. They don't care who wins. They just care about who comes third or second. And. Mizzy with with a call rather than I know the hand flops well, but is that the, the decision? Is that the reason for the decision? I mean, Again, yeah, it's a hand he's gonna, he knows he's going to hit a lot of flops or can proceed on a lot of flops, and he also knows he might have a bit of uh, opportunity to push Timoshenko around. Given he knows Timoshenko's picking up easy chips elsewhere, he might not want to put up too much of a fight against Sorrell. Check. And yeah, you know, yevgeny has got a bit of showdown value here. Doesn't want to get in an awkward spot against Sorrell because he has this good situation working with Andrew. So he checks back. This pot's rather significant. Yeah, I mean, every time these guys play a pot, it's double stakes in effect. Chips that Sorrell loses and say Yevgeny wins, it double, you know, it doubles the difference. And there is this weird thing. I mean, you feel like... In general, guys in this spot are more willing to check back hands with showdown value and bet they're really good hands and they're really bad hands. So is it as simple as that? And Sorrell's thinking, maybe I shouldn't bet because of that? or Yeah, he'll be thinking there's a good chance that Yevgeny has something here when he's checked back this flop. Not always, but but more than... But more than, more than usual, you know. Uh, so it's, it is a bad bluffing spot. It, it is it is a bad bluffing spot. I mean, now he, now he must be onto the fact that Yevgeny... Has got at least an ace. At least an ace. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's probably thinking he has got what he's got, like a, a six. I mean, a deuce is unlikely because he's raised, but not impossible. But he'll be thinking, yeah, Genny has a, a round about the kind of strength hand that he does. He'll be and, thinking. and Sorrell will know that it's very hard to bluff him off that kind of strength hand. But it's beautiful now. Now he's hit the jack. Yes, yes, I mean, yes, right? Yeah, this is, this is finally something's gone right for Sorrell. And the truth is, is that if he does pass here, between him and Sorrell, it's still very, very marginal. I think he's going to be behind, go from being ahead 60 to behind 60. Right. If he calls and loses here, now he's actually he's behind by a factor of changing the whole dynamics of the game. Yeah, that's exactly it. And, and listen, obviously, listen here, yeah, obviously the he's call and win. He's counting his stack. He's right. counting Sorrell's stack. That's exactly what he's working out because now. Because the, the call and... Yeah. This is exactly what he's thinking. And Sorrell's not giving me anything up. If you want to know my chips, you can't do yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the big leagues, man. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't Sorrell who was getting pieces of paper out working out Monty Hall problems. Is it? This is the Sorrell. Yeah. Is, and he's cool. Right? <laughs> I mean, that was that looked like a kind of mundane hand, but it was fantastic because you can only imagine how many levels... Yevgeny was going through whilst he was thinking there. And the result, the result is advantage Sorel Mizzy on the basis of that river card. He is now back to pole position. It's Yevgeny who has to go to plan B. Sorel Mizzy can now just think, I'll just carry on and let's see if Yevgeny's got any, anything in his bag of tricks. Yeah, Sorel, Sorel's gonna, I think, push a little bit here now. He's gonna put Yevgeny under pressure and Andrew, you know, hasn't, hasn't like stopped that happening as of yet, so. I think Sorrell could really kick on there. No, but we, oh, that, that was so much bigger than it looked. It was, it was a relatively small pot, but it was huge in terms of changing the dynamic of this table. Nice 
thanks to 75. Now here's a spot that, that hasn't happened yet. Yevgeny might want to three bet Cyril now. At this point where they've, they've bashed Andrew down, comes a time when they can't really expect Andrew to be a force in this tournament anymore. You know, it's, it's looking more and more like whoever wins between the three of between right. the two and, of them. And 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 what are the relative merits of of Ace Nine here? Are you is is it that I have enough of a of a of an advantage that I'm not really happy about getting 20 big blinds in or? Oh, wow. cool. Okay. Wow, you just you just have absolutely <laughs> no insight into Yevgeny Timoshenko. Well, you say, you know, it's, it was always a, it was always a chance call because those maybe he doesn't know whether Sorrell's gonna you know jam it in or he obviously thinks that Sorrell is capable of of four betting him of, of, of he going he one step up. Yeah. This is a this is a Sorrell specific play. This is a situation where he's like he is slightly concerned that Sorrell might just outplay him, so he removes the opportunity from Sorrell. And he, on this board, he, he has to call one. I mean, that's just part of the dynamics. You just not, you, you, you just got to go one more time here. Uh, well, wow, 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 wow. I mean, this is a horrible spot for uh, Timoshenko now. Because like, as, as, as with the Jack earlier, this is exactly the kind of card that Sorrell's going to barrel at if he doesn't have a hand. I mean, he's just trying to work out what kind of hand Yevgeny has. I mean, at this point, he's discounting the fact that if Yevgeny has a better hand, then he's resigned to the fact, I think, that he'll be doing his stack in this pot. But, and as, as he put the chips in, he flashed a glance at Yevgeny to try and get an instant reaction. He's so keen to know what's going to happen right now. He, kno he knows for him this is, this is in effect the tournament. I don't think Timoshenko shies away from putting himself in tough spots. He's confident in his hand reading. But he doesn't mind putting himself in tough spots where whereas uh it, you know it, myself I, I you know i'd shy away from putting wow. myself in tough spots because I, I don't want to make mistakes but he's <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> you'll see it in the blog i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> well and that's huge for sir right now he really has a, a big lead on yevgeny now you had me mm -hmm. so Wait. why the sigh because he had three reverse 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 <laughs> <laughs> now Cyril is just playing with Yevgeny's head. I feel like I had the best hand. Ace queen. Yeah. Is Ace queen the best hand? He's wondering what I feel like I had the best hand. He knows he had the best hand. He's just trying to get in Yevgeny's head. He's trying to make Yevgeny think about this hand. <laughs> well, look between them. Obviously, the chip stack, the most important thing. I think this is the biggest gap. Uh, in their chips, yeah, James. It, it's really hard to make. Um, can you make any of the other statistics? Are they interesting to you? Any of the other numbers? The, the key thing here is they're playing a, f a fairly similar game. Yeah, you know, the total aggression is pretty similar. The steals on that far okay, out. The three cool. bets. You know, they're, they're you know these these two are the, the best players I think in in my opinion in this heat, and they're they're playing a very similar game. And, and if you want to, you know, think of a sort of a textbook way to play in these kind of formats, these two guys are doing it. They haven't gone crazy pre-flop early on when it doesn't matter. They, they're making sure they're in the game when there's just three or four left and then really putting some pressure on. And unfortunately, we did miss the part where Feldman called Sorrell's exact two cards. <laughs> <laughs> ten high, I think, was his. Yes, our ten high. Fantastic. Yes, Andrew. Right again. <laughs> Race to 60,000. Wow. wow. Well, I think be now because Timoshenko lost that last one, he has to kind of go uh, with it. I think is now. that? I mean. Oh God. Yeah, he has to. He has to go at this point. He's got too short. He knows it's on him now to make the move, and, and he's actually found himself in a really good spot here. Cool. Cool. And 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 oh. Feldman's now, called. Feldman realized he'd put too much in to go. Feldman, I tell you, Feldman wants to win this pot, but Sorrell wants him to win it more than Andrew does. That's for sure. <laughs> this is, this is Sorrell is funking so hard for an ace star, and look how excited right. he is. For you as this <laughs> So I guess we'll stand. Make it more dramatic. Timoshenko's not feeling marvelous. He might not have gotten in this spot so were he not so far behind that, Sorrell. He might have problem. actually folded forced. folded the nines. Yeah, he was forced into he he had to make oh, the move. He had nice. to get chips. But but, but he's points. well ahead. He's like he's at least two to one here. Yeah, but he's not liking it. This is you know, this is not a good situation for him. And wow. That's wow. it. Wow. I mean that's, that's it, it's Sorrell. No that's it, it's Sorrell. Anything but the nine or spades. Yeah. I'm not. Take a ton of spades. 
I like a good sweat. This is unfortunate. An ace. Wow. You can't do it to me again, Yevgeny. You can't do it again. <laughs> Andrew, well, what's, he, what's he done to you? Well, he made the best hand win. I mean. Can't win with the best hand again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the comment he's making. <laughs> Poker wouldn't be funny if the best hand always won. Uh, oh, well, I mean, this is cruel. I mean, Yevgeny played so good. He so did. good. He did. And he's, he's just out there thinking, how has this happened? You know, like he's, he's unlucky in two pots we're against Sorolla. Uh, you know, <laughs> and then, and then this happens here. Out, He's desperate. I think he might actually be left with a few chips, but it's, I mean, it's, it's all it's, it's all but over. Very, very few, if if any at all. Yeah. Um, but James, you're sorry. I mean, so well has Yevgeny played in this, and uh, so this is, I mean, uh, it's been a pleasure to watch. I might not look before calling. I'll tell you that. <laughs> No, but there's no anties. So. I think I would have preferred to see for the for the excitement <laughs> if uh, if and uh, Yevgeny had held up there, then it would have been they'd be playing heads up for the seat, which would have been really interesting to see these two go out of heads up. I said that. But who knows? It's not over yet. He's got forty thousand chips. Stranger things have happened. That's it. Couldn't have asked for a harder three. Oh. Yeah. That hurts. It's a it's a it's a hard way to lose it. Um, yeah. To be fair, on that hand, maybe if I was superstitious, I did like a sort of pattern. <laughs> Andrew might. To, to be fair, I mean, it I is. He, I think he has limped in here. You know, they're going to play the game of right. uh, limp in oh. and check it down. <laughs> no, That's the game they're playing here. Andrew, Andrew just wants to lock up those extra couple of points, or well, three points in fact, and, and Sorrell needs his seat. So. And Yevgeny's that's actually got a, the decision is should Yevgeny check really or bet the 10k? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, he knows he's going to get the. It's, it's a very small decision, but it, <laughs> but it could be important. I think he's better off checking or because with the four seven, he, he there might actually may be a, a, a flop to fold on. There, there might be a situation where he does fold. Yeah, he might end up being checking down to the river, and then and then he's got seven high. He knows that can't be good three way. As yeah. happened, this is the situation he'll, he'll yeah. put his last chip in. Oh, he has to. I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> and they're both going to, you know, Andrew's going to call with the queen four for 10,000 more. And, and obviously, Sorrell's got top pair. And he ain't going anywhere. Check. I think if one of you guys has ace high, you should bet to protect your hand. <laughs> There's a side pot. You shouldn't speak. Check. <laughs> Come on, I want to see a seven. Seven or a four. I do, too. Put the tennis spades out for <laughs> Could help me. Ah, oh, that's it, unfortunately for him. It's gonna go check, check. These are all things. I've got top pair. Have I not bet? Like, he, he knows the right thing to do is to check in. Even to bot. Second pair was a bit of a sweat. And uh, for Yevgeny yeah, Timoshenko, yeah. For it's... sure, Yevgeny <laughs> might have thought he had the best hand there, but... No. The end of this mixed game championship. Yeah. I don't think he couldn't have played better in this last heat. It'll be the first two heats, only getting one point there. That put him under way too much pressure. Um, he played fantastic. We've lost Yevgeny, and it was a tough three-handed battle. Um, from your point of view, how are the other players playing, did you think, and how are you playing? I thought everyone played very well. Uh, with the blinds being so high, we were really at the mercy of the cards. Uh, each player plays well enough that even if someone has a slight edge post-flop or a slight edge with how they play their hands pre-flop, it, it was really anyone's game because the blinds were so high. Nah, he's not that sick. You even said he plays very tight in those kind of spots. And no, that was a completely different spot. Than <laughs> <laughs> no, no, was like Andrew's, that Andrew's trying to engage Sorrell in conversation no, about a hand, and Sorrell's just, just given up trying to placate him. He's just well, like, no, yeah. you don't know what, what you're I, talking about. <laughs> just leave me alone. What, I, what I love about Sorrell is that the pretense is basically gone. Yeah, he's, he's, um, <laughs> you know, usually when you're at the table, if you, if you think you've got a weaker player, you're supposed to just sort of so not along, I, I and, and he's just given up doing that. that. He's just, he's just given. He's just like, he's being honest. He's just like, no, Andrew. And, and look at this. You know, first hand, he's got the aces, and he's, Andrew's called the raise of queen eight. Which, which wow, is, and he's got the flush, but it's gonna be over one hand. Get it all in here. But, but call, calling with the queen eight, are they deep enough for that? Or it's, it's, oh, it's okay. Um, I'm not wild about it, but it's, it's okay. Queen eight suited. It's okay. The, the thirty big blinds deep. It's, you know, it flops okay. Heads up. Raise the pot. And here we go. It's going to be over in one. They're going to be all in in one hand, I imagine. Here, yeah, um, Andrew's just um, check, just snap check raising the pot. I mean, it's pretty obvious he doesn't have a better than one pair when he does that. So Ron knows the aces are good here. It's just a question of what he's up against and, and well, how to play it here. Flush draw? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He gets, <laughs> right. And you got a flush draw, and Andrew's trying to pretend I don't have a flush draw. He goes, "Oh, of course." But Cyril knows what's going on here when he just check raises the pot. I mean, doesn't doesn't consider any of the bets. Of course, I'm not folding. I just want to play the final now. My. 
cool. Ollie. Yeah, we got no room I thought they'd already gone all in. No, no, I thought when just... he goes all in, of course, I, I, I thought. Care, to be honest. I'm just there we go. That. It I could be over in one hand. Final, just... uh, well, if, 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 if it's not points. one hand, it's going to be two because pretty much there all the is. chips are in the center so, of the pot. Wow, and I mean. Jack of hearts. You got a redraw. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Incredible, he's the, turned the flush, but Sorok can still win with any heart, one, heart yeah, but the Jack. The right, no, right. Jack of Hearts giving Andrew a, a straight flush if it were to come. I think this is going to be quite fitting if Andrew Feldman Ooh. ends up winning this heat. <laughs> there she is. There it is. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and Sorrell, I think, I but it is Sorrell Mizzy. And justice that. Is served. Uh, eight, justice served. Justice was served. He's right there. Really I mean. It's the second heads up I paid last time. Interestingly one enough, uh, eight points for Sorrell. Yeah. It's still going to give him 16. Well. So even though he's won this heat, James, I think he's going to be fun, the shortest like stack uh, at the final no, table. Yeah. But, but obviously, yeah. delighted to get he's there. To be there yeah. And, uh, and uh, a well deserved win for Mizzy. Let's have a look at how Group B finished up. Andrew Feldman, top of the league with 24 points. Andy Frankenberger with 18, and Sorrell Mizzy with 16. Those three are going to the final table. Their points converted to chips at the rate of 20,000 chips per point. The three who didn't make it are Mike Sexton on 10 points, Tim Oshenko finishing with seven, and Ben Carpenter bottom of this pool with four points. I feel really good as a, as a big underdog, even though I'm going into the final table with a um, few chips, uh, or like the least chips, I think. Um, I'm still glad to be there. After coming second, Andrew Feldman is now tied for first place at the final table, so you're in a pretty good position here. Yeah, I mean, going into the final table with uh, 24 points is going to be a um, strong position, but to be honest, I don't think it will count for too much. I'm just um, delighted to have got the top two finish, which is what I was hoping for, as is a big jump difference, um, and I'm very excited for the final later on. And here's how it'll look when the final table commences. Points now converted to chips. James Dempsey and Andrew Feldman will be co-chip leaders on 480K. Pescatori, Matt Giannetti, and Andy Frankenberger will be average stacked, while Sorrell Mizzy just happy to be there. What build-up, what drama for the final. So we have our final table lineup. Sorrell Mitzi joins Max Pescatori, Andrew Feldman, Andy Frankenberger, James Dempsey, and Matt Giannetti at the felt. Join us next time as we take a step closer to crowning our first ever mixed game champion. There will be a bet. The question is how much. That's brutal. I honestly don't know what the right play is. I think I have the more chips. Oh my, please. I've never said it before, but one time. Yes! It's like never easy for you, man. Never easy. It's an absolute joke. 